Congrats on the win, Coach. You have another, looks like uh, two complete performances in a row. What did you see working out there tonight? Yeah, I, I thought we played really hard tonight. Uh, we started out the game really good on the defensive end, and we just weren't making some shots, but, but we kept playing defense and were able to pull away a little bit there in the first half. But I thought our, our physical and mental energy um, in the second half, especially in the press, really kind of allowed us to take control of the game. What about the performance about keeping Markowski and Potts offensively pretty much out of the game? Yeah, I thought our post defense was good, and, and we're getting better in that area. Our post players are working really hard, and the guards are helping them. It's a collective effort, and so yeah, that's going to be important. We, we, we see a lot of great post players in this league, so we're going to have to continue to, to be able to execute at that level. And now you have a little break. Um, what are you looking to work on with these few days off? You know, I, we're going to get a little bit of rest, but also take a couple of days this week just to focus on ourselves. You know, we spend a lot of time preparing for upcoming games and opponents. Uh, we have a couple of days where we can just try to get better at some things. When you're related to us. When you're playing this well, do you like having that rest or do you kind of just want to keep going? Yeah, it kind of is what it is. You know, we kind of take it day by day. And so, you know, we're, we're in a good rhythm. So you don't want anything to take away from that, but we're just going to have to manage the week accordingly. Is there anything special about Jason's performance tonight, or do you feel like it was what she does? Yeah, it's kind of what she does, and um, I thought she played really well, though, and a combination of really scoring the ball. She had six assists, I think, so she's making other people better, and, and she really got her pace going. It was great in the press. So you just started slow a few times this year. Just how nice was it just to really, I mean, you were not getting shots, but yeah. the defensive end things just we're on. Yeah, I thought our effort was really good to start right from the tip, and we had talked about that. I mean, with, with Nebraska coming off such a great win against Iowa and an emotional win, but also a, a game where they spend a lot of energy. I thought if we could really get after it early, it, it could maybe you know impose our will on the game from the start. And I think we did that on the defense now. When you're pressing where you are, and can you feel a team like Nebraska? It just seemed like Nebraska was sped up and had no yeah. way to slow down. Can you feel that on the Yeah, side? yeah, and, that, and that's, you know, they're a really good team, and they're well-coached, and they're well-organized, but you know, we have a, an advantage in our speed and our quickness. So I thought if we could speed them up a little bit, it would, it would make it tough on them. Okay, with you guys forcing, I think it was three 10-second violations. Is how, how well of a barometer is that for how well the defense is in terms of just being locked in? Yeah, you know, and that was something we talked about at halftime. They kept getting the ball in the middle of the floor in the first half, and I told them if we can keep it out of the middle of the floor, I think we're going to have some problems to break the press. And so our kids did a really good job coming out. And early in the game, there was a moment where Taylor Theory, she passed up an open three, you had a little bit of reaction on the sideline. Is that what you've talked about with her? We just wanted her to be a little bit more aggressive in those types of situations? Yeah, we want her to be a little bit more assertive. And, you know, she's a really good offensive player. She's a really good shooter. And uh, I have a lot of confidence in her. You know, sometimes we pass, we pass on a good shot and we'll get a worse shot in return. So, so I don't want her passing on good shots. Kevin, going off Cameron's question a little earlier, when you, have, when you guys are playing such a good third quarter and second half ball, is there a worry at all going in, I mean, coming up with the Big Ten tournament and a few more road games? Is there a worry at all that maybe maybe the team won't be able to jump out in the, just the beginning? Yeah, no, exactly. We're trying to get closer to 40 minutes. And so that's the goal, and those are the things we talk about. And like I said, it's, I, I thought our effort was really good to start. We just weren't making shots. And so, you know, sometimes we can't control that. Um, Although we can't control the shots that we do get and making sure we get balanced, we're not just settling for threes all the time. I'm sure you've gotten to know Chris Holtman over the years. Just what yeah. was your reaction to you know him being fired tonight? Um, he's an incredible person. He's become a really good friend of mine over the years, and, and, and he's also an excellent coach who undoubtedly is going to land on his feet. Talk a lot about Cody's offense and her, her growing game. Tonight she had four steals. It looks like her awareness. She she sees what's going on the court so well. Like how. How great is that for a sophomore to be playing at that level? Yeah, she's really grown, and she's growing. And, and the good news is she's still got a higher ceiling to get to. And so, but part of it is, yeah, her, her mental, the, the mental aspects of the game and just reading the floor and, and all those things are, are really coming. And so it's going to be fun to see her continue to, to blossom. Kevin, Ricky does so many of those games for you guys. Is it fair to say she's adding sharpshooters to her the list of things that she has? Yeah, she's been shooting the ball really well. And just play, overall playing really well. I mean, she's always in the right spot at the right time. She communicates on the floor. She knows what we do and where everybody else should be. So, you know, we're, we're, she's playing at a high level now and making shots. So she's been giving us really great minutes.
seems like the last couple of games here you started to get a little bit more out of your bench. How do you feel like your bench is coming along right yeah, now? Yeah, I think um, that's what we just talked mm -hmm. about in the locker room. We're getting really positive contributions from a lot of people, and I think it's going to be important. Given our style of play, and um, you know, we want to be really fresh in March and playing as hard as we can and really be able to press, press people, and I think our bench is going to have to be a big part of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's fine. Does wanting to get those guys, you know, more experience for the bench help you avoid letdowns also and kind of stay where you want to be there? Yeah, I mean, we were challenged because we didn't really finish, we didn't finish the game very well at Michigan State as well as we played for the first three quarters. So I challenged the group that was in there, you know, hey, make sure we finish the game the right way and you guys get experience playing the right way. And, and they did. They did a really good job tonight.